So Dr. Arthur Sampaio is a stem cell biologist and he holds a master's degree in molecular biology and embryonic development. Dr. Sampaio currently holds a position as a senior scientist at the largest Canadian biotech company where he manages a team of scientists developing products for stem cell research. More recently, he's been devoting his time to understand how mental illness, illness affects the cellular behavior of our brain cells. And as research director at Peace360, he hopes to use evidence-based scientific discoveries to further enable our mentors, which is amazing. So welcome, Dr. Sampaio. Thank you very much for the introduction, Jane. It's a pleasure to be here speaking to you about this. Uh, some of the work that we do under the research team is more on the background to enable and empower our mentors. And I could not begin this uh, presentation uh, without recognizing the team that we have. It's a wonderful team that is uh, shown here in the central uh, portion of this slide here. So there's myself as the director, Julie Wilde as the manager, we have Swati as our coordinator, and we have Aliyah, Giselle, Rihanna, Adrian, Katie, and Courtney as the research specialists who will be helping us uh, putting these projects together and running them. Some of the advantages of working together is really the brainstorm is this group decisions, this bringing all this brain power together and providing transparency, supportive, being all inclusive towards our common goals. But one of the things that's very important is to realize that we cannot work as a silo. We cannot work as a separate team uh, independent from the organization. So to that extent, I have been working quite avidly in terms of uh, uh, raising this intersecting ROSAT, where all the departments as represented here as the, the teams are represented as circles on the left side here of this diagram. And we all intersect together. We all work together. We all collaborate together. So it's much more effective and inclusive that way. And to that extent, I have put quite a bit of our own time here in the research team uh, looking at cross appointments for cross-functional uh, efforts within uh, the organization. And we are pleased to have Dr. Brittany Fouts as the uh, management representative here. She's uh, being a great advocate for all the work that we have been doing in the research team. We have been able to hold two people from the mental health team as part of this uh, cross appointment effort here. And we have Gloria and Denisa, and I know that they are online here. So thank you very much for doing this and allowing us to uh, further communicate and, uh, and create this transparency throughout the, uh, the organization. Uh, being a virtual company and, uh, and an online organization, it is essential for us to have good communication with our marketing team. So I am hopeful that uh, working with the marketing team will be able to have representation too, that we can go online and really uh, show what it is that we're doing in this virtual company that is so good. And in terms of public relation, we have you, Jane, and we are hoping to work with you very closely in interviews and how to actually move forward with our, with our projects. So next slide, please. So uh, the ob objectives that we have uh, at the short term here is really grow the team and bridge this gap that I've been talking about, establishing this cross appointment with other teams. This cr cross functional effort is really important. It, the, the idea that we are one is really important to me. We are one organization. We all work together towards the mental health and, uh, and all these wonderful things that we've been talking about here. And uh, one of the things that I would like to do is to educate the team itself with uh, what is in the literature right now. Really getting new publications and dissecting them out, really understanding what it is that they're doing, the flaws and benefits of this publication, being really critical about this and educating ourselves uh, as a team. Once we have that message, we can disseminate this message to other members of the organization, to the other teams. And this is really about this organization-wide learning. 
And uh, once we have this as an organization, we can reach out to the public and apply our, our, our learning to the pub, public. And we want to do this by empowering our mentors, giving them the tools that are new, that are up to date in what it is that we have learned from universities and professors and research that's been there. And uh, this really speaks about being innovative. And I think this is one of the greatest things that we're going to have in this organization is this innovation. We're going to come up with new ways to actually address those in needs. In need. The, the mentors are going to be empowered with, with this extra help. And, uh, and this is not a one-way communication. We are here to help. So we want to hear from you as well. As a team, as a member of the public, if you have a question, how can we answer it? How can we help you answer that question? And if you have a suggestion for us, either for the organization or for the research team, let's hear it, let's discuss. It's all about transparency, transparency and really uh, hitting the point that we want. You know, provide support, provide mental health support and safety for everyone. Uh, next uh, slide, please. So in terms of the past activities, what we have done, as I mentioned, is really spend a lot of time uh, organizing the team, uh, assigning positions, recruiting cross-functional members. It's really about building relationships. That's really without relationships, we're not going to be able to go anywhere. Uh, we had a wonderful kickoff meeting. We are official, go team. Uh, we, are, we are good to go. Uh, we have had lots of uh, brainstorming around the projects, that are around this education and what it is that we want to do. We made some decisions moving forward and we are establishing timelines. And so all of these goals, all of these projects are going to take place now in 2021. So on the right side here for the 2021 activities, uh, we are going to start with an online survey and we're probably gonna run them for one, two or three months. And uh, in orange are the cross-functional uh, teams that we need to be working very close together to achieve these goals. So it's going to be part, important for us to have a clear communication with the marketing and online content members of, of the organization. And we're going to start with, uh, you know, uh, questions that will hit quite a few members, right? It's going to uh, get attention from them, such as, is depression treatable or things to that nature? We're going to collect this data, we're going to interpret, we're going to, uh, you know, communicate this to our mentors, and hopefully we'll be able to invite some of these members of the public who are coming and answer the survey with Jane. And uh, so we're really going to act on that information that we're, that we're putting together, that we're gathering from the members who are actually answering the survey. And uh, once we have digested this data, once we have an idea of what it is that we, we got from our members, we're going to discuss them. We're going to put blogs in place starting in February. Now we're going to get the information from the survey. And, and again, it's really important to have uh, clear communication with the marketing online uh, content. Uh, Danielle and Jane, they have started the Friday, Friday focus now, so we can make use of that as well. And, you know, disseminate even more the information that we're getting together. And all of this is coming from the spin off from the surveys that we are, that we're doing. And again, this is really about building relationships again within the organization, with the members who are answering the survey, with the interviews that Jane is doing, with the Friday focus. It is about building relationships. And this will attract new members into the organization as well. On a more, more long term, we want to start a journal club. And this is really about understanding what the published literature is telling us. And we're going to discuss, we're going to present this, we're going to open this to all members of the organization. We, uh, we also want to reach out to universities. And again, we have Brittany on board with us here. She's helping us uh, build uh, relationships with some universities. So we wanted to have invited panel discussions with professors, uh, grad students, what have you. And again, it's building relationships. It's all about building relationships and help having these networks that's going to help us do help all of the people who are in need. And, uh, and we want to understand other mental health programs as well. Uh, those based, grant funded from different countries, uh, community health programs that they're putting together with or without funding and how they're being successful. We really wanna to try to understand all of that and again, 
This is all to bring information and knowledge to our mentors. So these activities then will increase the knowledge of our mentors. It will empower them. And with that will come the innovation of what it is that we're doing in, in how to address those in need. So it's, uh, this is going to be really the differential from other organizations and where I think we can make a difference even, even more so than what other organizations are doing in, term, in terms of providing mental health support to people. So that's sort of an idea of what it is that the uh, research team is, is trying to accomplish here within this organization. So I thank you for listening.